Hello and welcome to the Virginia Association for Collegiate Registrars and Admission Officers Virtual College Fair. Thanks for joining us. I've got just a couple of housekeeping announcements before we get started. For everyone in the audience, you know you can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our representatives at any time. They love your questions, so feel free to use that uh, throughout the session. Your camera and microphone are off, so our panelists cannot see or hear you. And then this is just one of many different sessions that are happening this evening. So be sure to head back to strivescan.com slash Virginia and sign up for additional sessions in the following two hours. This session is being recorded and a recording will be available within about a week at that same website where you registered. With all that, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to our, uh, our reps. This is the order we are in session 11, A11 here. It's gonna be Tusculum University, UVA Wise, Johnson and Wales University, University of Minnesota Twin Cities, IE University, and then Regent University. So with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Paige. Take it away. Hello everyone. My name is Paige Calvin and I am an enrollment representative here at Tusculum University. Many of you may not have heard of Tusculum. We are located up in East Tennessee in Greenville. We also have a campus in Morristown, Knoxville and a whole online campus. We are the oldest higher education institution in Tennessee. We are very proud of that and like to have bragging rights for that. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Okay, and then, okay, so yes, this is Tusculum University, and again, we are the oldest higher education institution in Tennessee. Sorry about that. While this is buffering, I'll continue to talk. We do offer over 60 majors and minors here at Tusculum. We have over 20 different programs that we offer when it comes to um, hobbies and clubs. And if there's ever a club here at Tusculum that you want to pursue, want to make, want to uh, try to get that ball rolling, we, we do offer that. We offer all kinds of opportunities for all individuals. Now, I know we are located in the South, so sometimes that does have a stick, stigma to it, but we are very inclusive. We are a safe space for all students, and we like to pride ourselves on our um, the, the amount of students that we have. We have all kinds of international students. One of the cool things here is that they will fly your flag from your country um, the whole time you're here to represent you and bring you a little bit of um, home with you. So on this slide, what this is showing is that um, we are unique. We are a civic arts college. And with that, 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 that entails to have um, students do complete at least 12 completed credit hours of some kind of art, whether they go to a, a play on campus or they go to a concert to graduate, they do have to have 12 completed credit hours of an art credit, doing something in the community. We're very, very involved in our community. We have a day called Netty Day, where we actually go out in the community and we, we um, volunteer. We try to make, make Greenville a better place. Sometimes that community service will extend to Knoxville. I know oh, I got my, with my degrees here, I decided to do, um, keep, keep the nursery at church. You can totally do that. Anything they just want us out and, and making a difference. And again, this shows where, where we're located at the East Tennessee, kind of the base of the Smoky Mountains near Knoxville and Pigeon Forge, if you all have heard of that. Um, even though we are a private institution, we are on the cheaper end compared to other institutions in Tennessee that are private. We do have a net price calculator on our website, www.testform.edu, where you can enter all of your information, um, your parents' income, that's maybe something your parents maybe would, would like to do as well, and you can pretty much get a snapshot of what your tuition will be here. We do honor the Tennessee Promise, and our financial aid department is wonderful. We actually try to get your tuition down to zero dollars if possible. So whether that's with PAL, your financial aid, a merit-based scholarship based on your grades, and ACT, and with that, it does take, um, you do have to have a 2.0, GPA in order to be accepted and then have at least an 18 on your ACT and a 960 on your SAT. Now with COVID we understand that sometimes it's not possible to get your test in in order to apply 
um, that is okay. We do look at the whole picture when it comes to our students and, and when they're when they're they're enrolling and applying. Now we'll let you know that it is free to apply on Pestilence main website. There is no um, charge, there's no deadline, we're willing admission. And again, this is international where we represent multiple countries and states. Um, we do rolling admissions, so we can literally accept you the day before classes start. Now, that is hard on everybody, um, including the student, but we, we do understand that sometimes our, our plans, um, they happen like that. And then just here's a brief list of our athletics, our varsity, men's and women's sports. We love our athletes here, but we love all of our students. We want you to succeed, whether that's the athletic route or if you just want to be a traditional student or online. Um, we, we, we definitely want to make Tuscalon be successful for you so when you leave you're able to have an excellent career because that's why we're all here. Briefly, this is a list of different programs that we offer here at Tuscalon. Some of our biggest ones are education, nursing, business, and criminal justice. We have an awesome criminal justice program and all of our programs are community-based so we work close with our with the departments that you would be majoring in in Greenville or the surrounding areas. Yeah, so that's just a little bit about Tuscan. Just if you would like to apply, again, it's free. Um, there's no deadline. We're rolling admission, and um, you're in my territory. Most of, most of the students on here should be within my territory of undergraduate admission. So I would be able to work hand in hand with you in order to get you accepted. So yeah, if you have any questions, I will drop my contact information in the in the chat, and then uh, I'll look forward to speaking with you. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you very much, Paige. Next up, we've got the University of Virginia's College at Wise. Antonio? Great. I'll make a quick plug as well for that Q&A. So if you've got any questions for Tusculum or University of Virginia College at Wise or any of the other uh, institutions in our session here this evening, feel free to use that. You can ask them about their own campuses or about anything in the college admissions process. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Antonio. I'm an admissions counselor at UVA WISE and also a former graduate of the college. I'm excited to get the opportunity to advertise uh, the college. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. So first, we'll get started with a little uh, general information about the school. Uh, we were founded in 1954. Uh, we are a nationally ranked public liberal arts college and the only division of the University of Virginia in Charlottesville. Uh, campus is 396 acres and we have approximately 2,000 students and our student to faculty ratio is 13 to 1. Okay, so this is our location. As you can see, we are in the southwest Virginia uh, area. We're within an hour of the tri-state of Tennessee and Kentucky. So this is a full list of our academics. Uh, we have 33 majors, 39 minors, five pre-professional programs, and 24 teaching licensures. We are also the home to Virginia's only undergraduate degree program in software engineering. And a pretty cool fact about that is that any students who have ever went through our software engineering program has had 100% job placement. Six of our academic departments have earned national accreditations in their fields of expertise. Uh, this full list is on our website at www.uvawise.edu uh, under academics, then majors, then just select minors. It's all from the first page. Okay, Innovate to Elevate. Uh, this is one of our newest releases for technological advances. Basically, uh, what this means is any incoming full-time student will get a free iPad, a protective covering that turns into a smart keyboard, a protective case, and an Apple Pencil. And if any student wants to keep all of this after they graduate, they only have to pay $1. Okay, uh, so now we'll go in depth about our athletic programs. Uh, UVA Wise is a member of NCAA Division II, and we compete in 13 sports. So. Our men will compete in baseball, basketball, cross country, football, golf, and tennis. And the women will compete in basketball, cross country, golf, lacrosse, softball, tennis, and volleyball. We are a part of the South Atlantic Conference, or in short, the SAC. All right, so concerning our student life, uh, we have over 50 clubs and organizations on campus, including Greek life. So yes, we do have both national fraternities and sororities. We also have intramural sports where students get to compete against each other and faculty and staff members. And last but definitely not least, we have many opportunities for outdoor recreation trips at little or no cost. So uh, some of these trips, some examples of these trips consist of uh, skydiving, skiing, going to professional sporting events, et cetera. 
Okay, so now we'll go ahead and briefly touch on financial aid. So UVA Y students graduate with one of the lowest debt burdens in the nation. And we've actually been ranked amongst the top for liberal arts institutions. 88% of our students do receive some form of financial aid and we award around $19 million a year in scholarships. So yes, uh, we do offer both generous merit and need-based scholarships, okay? Uh, lastly, I'd like to touch on Within Reach. Uh, Within Reach is one of our newest financial releases for Virginia residents. So basically, if any student from Virginia is accepted to UVA WISE on a non-provisional basis and has a family income of $40,000 or less or assets of $75,000 or less, UVA WISE will cover their tuition and fees for the fall and spring semesters. This does not apply if these students want to take summer classes. All these students have to do is complete their FAFSA and submit to our financial aid office. If you qualify based on that provided information, our financial aid office will automatically add this award to your financial package. Okay, so now we'll just go over some uh, brief admissions uh, guidelines. Uh, so there's different ways that you can apply. <laughs> it's really just a preference for you. So we are a proud member of the common application. Uh, and we also have a copy of our uh, institutional application online as well at uvawise.edu. Uh, the deadlines that you see uh, beneath that are basically like a uh, first come first serve basis. So it's just opening the door uh, for you to be able to um, uh, sign up for the orientation that you would like to get everything registered for housing. It's really just giving you um, giving you first come first serve for whatever you would like to set up. Uh, the requirements that you see on the right is typically what we require on, on a yearly average. So uh, we always require an official high school transcript. Uh, as, of fall 2000, uh, as of fall 2021, uh, we are SAT and ACT uh, test optional. We always require a personal essay and a $25 application fee. And then the last three that you see are encouraged or optional. So a letter of recommendation, personal statement, or a resume and list of activities, all right? And then you can see our admission stats on a yearly average beneath that, okay? Then the only difference for uh, transfer students uh, for these students, the, the, the process is the same. The only difference is that we need a transcript from all the colleges you have attended prior to UVA WISE, okay? All right, so this is all of the contact information, okay? If you have any questions, I do wanna leave this up for just a second uh, while we still just have uh, about a minute left or so. Uh, so you can uh, go ahead and take a screenshot of that if you'd like to, and please feel free to reach out to us anytime. Uh, we are open Monday through Friday, uh, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Thank you all very much for your time. All right, thank you very much. Next up, we've got Johnson and Wales University. Take away the rest of that. Hello, everybody. My name is Marisa Marcy from Johnson and Wales, and forgive me, I. I think I just accidentally stopped. When I stopped Antonio's, I think I stopped mine too. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let me try this again. We can see your screen. We just see the Zoom window where it says launch meeting. Oh, interesting. Okay, I'm so sorry. Here we go. Let me try this instead then. Here. Anyway, well, I'll, I'll start talking. Um, let's see if I can talk and uh, hit things at the same time. Um, Johnson & Wales University is, it's an amazing university. I'm excited to share our story with you. Um, Actually, although you know what, Dan, would it be okay if someone else went and meanwhile I try to find my screen again? Would yeah, sure. Okay? All right, thanks so much. And I'll, I'll be right back after the next person. Sorry about that. Um, let's see here. Okay. Rachel, are you ready to go by any chance? Sorry to put you on the spot here. All right. No thank you, yes, Rachel. Appreciate it. Sure, no problem. And okay, hello, share. everybody. Um, should be good to go. There we go. My name is Rachel Tanner. I'm the National Recruitment Coordinator for the University of Minnesota Twin Cities. Thanks for being here. Um, I work with the University of Minnesota Twin Cities. We are the Langer and Flagship Institution for the Minnesota System campuses. Um, we're right outside the downtown of Minneapolis. So they call the Twin Cities location because we're nestled between the downtown of both Minneapolis and St. Paul. You can see in this photo the main part of our campus. If you catch this train 10 minutes this way, those are the skyscrapers of Minneapolis. 20 minutes the other way is St. Paul, which is Minnesota's capital. So it's a really unique environment and that offers that classic Big Ten college experience because everything around us is really student driven, um, but you are still in a, a very urban environment. So high level statistics, uh, we are a large public institution. We have 31,000 undergraduate students, 900 student groups, division one sports, part of the Big Ten conference, go Gophers, uh, tier one research um, and 150 majors to choose from. So we offer majors in the STEM fields and the health sciences, 
um, in the business fields. And those tend to be our most popular, including genetics, our direct entry nursing, biomedical engineering, electrical engineering, um, <clears throat> as well as our sport management program, our animal science and many others. But you can even create your own major at Minnesota. So I just named a very, very select few. We do have many graduate professional programs on campus too. So if you're interested in law school, medical school, veterinary school, OTPT, we do offer all those programs right on campus. So we can start giving you the pre-health or pre-law advising you need right away at freshman year. Despite our large size, we do try to keep those class sizes small. So 80% of all classes are 50 students or less, 65% of all classes are 30 students or less. So we're gonna keep those major classes right about 30 students. The big, big classes are generals, but we're always gonna pair those with a discussion or lab. So separate time of the week when you meet with only about 25 to 30 other students, not to learn anything new, just to go over what was taught in lecture. That we have the chance to ask questions or get help on something. We do admit directly into one of our eight freshman admitting colleges. We do this for a couple of reasons. First is so that you come into a smaller community of scholars um, and you can really make that transition a little bit more smoothly um, coming into a college of a few hundred rather than uh, the large freshman class on its own. We also do this for those of you who know exactly what you want to study. That way you can come in and start taking your major classes right away. But don't worry if you don't know what you want to study, that's okay too. We develop first year experience programs in each college to help you explore before you officially declare in your second year. Um, so certainly those majors I mentioned before are quite popular, but dive into our majors page and I can share that with you too to explore all that we have to offer. Like a good big school, we have a lot of opportunities for y'all to get involved on campus. 900 student groups, 200 student cultural groups, and 12 student cultural centers. So anywhere from interest and identity-based volunteer organizations, religious-based groups, you can go Greek if you want to. Um, you can join an aerial sport, or you can just be a go for super fan. There's pretty much anything in between. So a lot of ways to make our big campus feel smaller by finding your community. We do a massive study abroad program, and we highly recommend students study abroad. In fact, our business school actually requires it, as we will make it work for any degree that you're looking at, including our, our really intensive STEM, architecture, um, nursing programs, things like that. Now, the campus community um, on our campus does make it so that we can, we can uh, guarantee housing for all first-year students if you want to live in a living learning community or in one of our residence halls. In our second, third, and fourth year, we do have some students that choose to live on campus, but the communities that surround us really give us that college town feel. So you see a lot of students exploring those off-campus opportunities. Dinky Town and Stadium Village are the neighborhoods that are directly across the street from us, uh, where you can find um, free and low-cost events, affordable student housing, pizza places that are open all night, at coffee shops that adjust their hours around finals. So you get that quintessential college town feel, but you are still right in Minneapolis. Our location gives our students a huge leg up in terms of professional opportunities and that there's 16 Fortune 500 companies now headquartered in Minneapolis, St. Paul. So places like Target, 3M, Cargill, Best Buy, Medtronic are all right here and constantly recruiting out of our programs. Our location makes it so you can balance an internship on a Tuesday and Thursday, so go to class Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The Twin Cities are also a really fun um, and I think now a uh, digestible size um, city in that we're not a concrete jungle. Um, it's going to be easy for you to take the light rail and take public transportation to go catch a concert and um, go catch a game. We have six professional sports teams within about 10 minutes of campus, concert venues, museums on and around campus. So if you want to go try the newest coffee shop or a new neighborhood, go to the farmer's market, you certainly can. Um, but still having that urban advantage of being able to um, get those great job opportunities that not only will translate to Midwest, uh, but across the country and across the world. So if you want to just come here for school and head back out to the east, uh, east and west um, for jobs afterwards, no problem at all. Of course, taking into consideration value is a huge commitment of your time and your money when you come to any institution. We have been named a great value uh, by a couple different prints. And that's largely due to those numbers you see at the top. 93% of our first year students come back their second year. We're really excited about that. That means our, we're a good fit for our students financially, academically, and personally. We do have a number of academic merit-based scholarships through the Office of Admissions. If you choose to apply to Minnesota, you're gonna be automatically considered for all of those right off the bat. They range from $2,500, they go up to $15,000. That's each year for all four years, and they can be stacked. So just do some digging on your own too, and then we will consider you for what we can offer. The application itself is fairly straightforward. Uh, no letters recommendation or no essays are required. You can apply on the Common App or our own Golden Gopher application. We just need the application itself, $55 application fee, and then self-report your grades and courses. If you're a rising senior, we have gone no test required for fall 2022 again, meaning you don't need to submit that and you're automatically considered for admission, honors, and scholarships right off the bat. The deadlines are below. Um, it's equal consideration for all things for all three deadlines. The big one to note is if you're interested in that direct entry nursing program, be sure to apply by November 1st. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for having me. If you want to grab a screenshot of this, please do. Otherwise, I'll drop all my contact information in the box too. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Rachel. Thanks for being flexible too. And next up, now we've got Johnson and Wales University.
Hello again, everybody. And uh, yeah, we'll take two here. I am still Marisa Marcy, and um, I'm still excited to be a representative for Johnson and Wales University. Um, and I want to share our story with you. Uh, J. Wu is a very cool school. We were founded in 1914 up in Providence, Rhode Island, uh, which is in the northeastern part of the U.S. It's a really fun place. In fact, they actually call it College Town, USA. And we also have a campus in Charlotte, North Carolina, which is the second largest financial district in the whole USA. So there's so much opportunity there for our students. We're right in the heart of Uptown. Literally, you can kind of see, um, we, you can toss a football from our campus and hit Panther Stadium. Uh, both campuses are very inclusive, very welcoming, about 7,000 students in Providence, 1,500 in Charlotte. They represent 50 U.S. states and more than 80 foreign countries. So a beautiful diversity, which, which we think really adds to the uh, campus experience. And this, I think, is what really differentiates Johnson & Wales. We are all about learning by doing, hands-on experiential education. And in in fact, our classes don't look like your typical college classes. We don't have those huge lecture halls with hundreds of students. All the class sizes are small and they're actually learning labs. It's like doing things in the real world. Um, here, for example, in Providence are just a few. Um, our finance lab with the ticker tape, our criminal justice lab, um, advertising and communications, sports entertainment event management, and our food innovation and design lab. And in Charlotte here, again, the same thing too. Um, that's one of our fashion labs, our beverage and sensory analysis labs. Um, class sizes are small, so you really get to know your faculty. And all of them have incredible industry experience, having done what they're teaching. And they're great teachers, too. They really become your mentors. The other differentiator that I love with Wu is that you jump into your major right away. You know how usually it's not until your junior year that you get into your major, but at JWU, we, we want you to engage right off the bat in what interests you. Now, you still have to take the other general academic classes, but instead of being front loaded and making you feel like you're in grade 13, um, they're interwoven throughout. So it's a really cool holistic education. We have over 50 majors, as you can see here, everything from business, culinary arts, hospitality, um, equine science, health and wellness, engineering and design, and, and so much more. Um, I like to point out people sometimes know us for our culinary arts major and you know even if you're an accounting major or whatever it's very cool to go to a university that offers that because the food um, is really good at Johnson and Wales but if you want to have any kind of career in food and it could be being a chef or a restaurateur but so much more in fact we actually call it the College of Food Innovation and Technology um, it's everything from sustainability and packaging and design um, new taste sensations so it just covers a lot of really cool things. Um, what I'm really most proud of is that we have a 97.7% career outcomes rate. And what that means is that almost all of our students are doing what they want to do when they graduate, whether it's launching their careers or going on to grad school. And we do have some grad programs. Um, we have MBAs. We have accelerated programs for that, as well as a three plus three with law school. Um, we have a great PA grad program. Some of our students go on to med school. How we get that astounding rate is I think because of um, the small class sizes, getting into your major right away, but also our robust internship program. Um, students will do at least one, sometimes more than one, for a whole semester. Instead of going to class, they're going to a real world employer, um, you know, Fortune 500 companies. They're located near our campuses all around the country and all around the globe. Um, of course, we want you to have a happy, healthy social life. So we've got Greek life, um, uh, tons of different clubs. You'll, you'll never be bored at Johnson and Wales. And, um, we're the Wildcats and we are um, NCAA Division Three. Here's a look at um, our various sports at the different campuses, a lot of great spirit. We have beautiful dorms at both campuses. Freshmen and sophomore are required to live on campus unless there's some extenuating circumstances, but the dorms are beautiful. You get to pick your roommate. We even have some pet friendly dorms too. Um, it's free to apply to Johnson & Wales University. You can either use our application here or the Common App. We are test optional. And we've always been test optional. We feel that your high school transcript tells us more about you than you know, one testing day. That said, though, 
I always urge students to take SATs or ACTs if they can, because with us, they can only help you, they cannot hurt you. But again, we are test optional. Um, for those of you that are seniors, we have extended our application deadline this year because of the pandemic um, to July 4th. So it's not too late to apply. Underclassmen, we do have early action with the November 1st deadline. After that, it goes into rolling admission. Of course, most of our students receive financial aid. Some great scholarships you can get with us as well as academics are if you've ever been a member of a national student organization like FBLA, DECA, FCCLA, Skills USA, or HOSA. All of those are direct links to scholarships. We are open for both in-person and virtual tours. And if you go to jwu.edu slash visit, you can sign up for one of those. Um, there's our Wildcat, Willie. If you do want to get more information, you can text Wildcats to 75192, or that's our QR code if you want to hold your phone up to that. Also, too, I always like to share, if students have learning differences, we have great centers for academic support. Just, um, just let us know, and I can have um, our counselors work with you on that. And um, again, my name is Marisa Marcy. There's my contact info there. I live in Virginia Beach, and I work with students who live on the Eastern Shore, Hampton Roads, Richmond, Lynchburg area. And my colleague, Stacy Thomas, covers Northern Virginia, Shenandoah Valley, Charlottesville, Roanoke, and the rest of Southern Virginia. But thank you so much. Please come and visit us and go Wildcats. Thanks, Marissa. All right, next up, we've got IE University. And uh, I wanna make a plug for the Q&A button. Our reps love getting questions. You can't ask them too many questions. We've already got a bunch that were great so far. So please feel free to use that Q&A button to ask about uh, programs, majors, anything about their institution or about the college admissions process. Elsa? Yes, thank great. you. Perfect. <laughs> so welcome everyone. My name is Elsa Bustani. I'm the local representative of IE in the Northeast. I graduated myself from IE and like many different students uh, in a, at IE, what attracted me most were in the university was the international background and the various accreditations that we have. We have more than seven accreditations, which means that you can work and study across 130 plus nationalities uh, upon graduation. We offer various variety of bachelor's degree, ranging from architectural studies, business administration, law, international relations, and computer science and artificial intelligence. We also, also offer to students the opportunity to study dual degrees, which are a combination of two single degrees during five years uh, in uh, business and administration and international relations, for example, or international relations and economics. All of our classes are entirely taught in English and we attract very diverse student corpus. So we welcome every year more than 50 plus different education system. 75% of our students are international students and we have more than 45 languages spoken of on campus. We have 130 plus nationalities in our student body and on average we have 4,100 students at, our, at an undergraduate level. In terms of campus, we offer both a mid-level and campus life and a modern and city life. Here you can have a look at our campus in Sego Fun fact is that it's actually older than the United States. It's a monument preserved by UNESCO and uh, in a city that is 35 minutes away from the capital Madrid. And the castle of Segovia that you can see here actually inspired uh, the logo of Disney. In Madrid, we have a very dynamic uh, campus and we're very proud to launch starting this fall the IE Tower in the center of the financial district in Madrid. It's the fifth uh, tower in, um, in Spain and the fifth tallest uh, campus in the world and the tallest campus in Europe. It was made with sustainable material, operates renewable energy and is 32 floor uh, in terms of height. It has the greenest indoor area in Spain and the second greenest area in Europe. And it's an amazing place, one that I hope you'll have the opportunity to visit. We value tailoring education and uh, you know we want students to evolve as they feel like. So you can you know pick your elective and advanced seminar, go for international exchanges, 
internships, and even join the IEU labs. Here you have an example of the different IEU labs. We have the social impact lab, finance lab, design lab, tech lab, etc. And for, him, uh, for example, the communication lab worked with Twitter on the Spanish campaign last year. And it was very interesting for students to work on the messaging and control uh, you know, the, the, the communications between different parties. Here you have the list of all of our exchange partners. We have more than 160 uh, exchange partners across the, the world. Uh, among others, we have Cornell in the US, uh, McGill in Canada, and many universities across China, Japan, India, and Asia, and the Middle East. We also offer a joint, uh, a joint summer program with Brown University. So you spend two weeks at Brown University and you can transport, uh, tra transfer all of the credits to IE. Uh, we also offer to all of our students many opportunity uh, to interact and have a student life. We have 100 and plus active clubs. Uh, they are interest-based, career-based, hobby-based, uh, nationality, uh, nationality base, etc. And we also uh, run our own newspaper, The Stork, and we have more than five podcasts on campus. We were ranked first in Spain, seven in Europe, and 23rd worldwide. 95% of our students find a job of graduation, and 8% end up being entrepreneurs. 34% of our job seekers work outside of their country of origin, and 25% of graduates are pursuing further education. So, to apply, you can apply online on Common App or on our own website. We operate on a non-rolling basis, which means that it's not too late to apply. Uh, you can submit the SAT or ACT score. And for those that didn't get the opportunity to work on it or pass it, you can take our own test from the comfort of your home for free from Monday to Friday at 10 a.m. Once you submit all the required documents and pay the application fee of $140, you will receive an online assessment and then you will review your application and decide whether you want to invite you for an interview or not. So as mentioned, the admission process is 100% online. Uh, we will only need a letter of recommendation, an essay, a test score, your current assessment, a portfolio if you're studying in liberal art, and then we will review your application. If you need any further information, please uh, scan my uh, information and contact details in the QR uh, below. And uh, thank you for your time. Thank you, Elsa. All right, now, last but definitely not least is Regent University. Cindy, go ahead and take it away. Thank you. Okay. All right, welcome everyone. Um, my name is Cindy Hilliard. And um, in the few minutes we have together, I'd like to tell you a little bit about Regent University. Okay, so we are a private Christian university located in Virginia Beach. On campus, you are surrounded by Georgian style architecture, brick walkways, and a wooden land and a wooded landscape. We are conducting individual tours for um, families, um, all in the CDC guidelines. So come check us out. And this is a beautiful slide with all of our um, seasons here um, at Regent. So Regent is a liberal arts university that offers over 135 different programs. We offer every level of education from associate's degrees to graduate programs. And some of our most popular programs would include cybersecurity, psychology, business, communication, education, and biblical studies. Okay, so we have over 11,000 students total. Of that, about 4,400 are undergraduate students, and of that, about 1,300 of those students study on campus. So our students come from all 50 states, 90 countries, and 40 different denominations, and you can choose to study online, live on campus, or commute from the local area. And however you choose to study, rest assured that you will not get lost in a giant lecture hall or be traded like a number. Uh, you learn directly from your professors in a small classroom environment, which allows you to connect with your peers and receive more personalized 
uh, instruction. And in addition, our faculty not only teach, but they actively work in their disciplines. And so they are a great resource for you. And actually more than 90% have their PhD or um, terminal degree. So here at Regent, we want to surround you with every resource you need to earn a quality education and have a great experience. All of our services from Academic Support Center to our, we, our Center for Student Happiness, which has life school management and different things like that, are all available to you. And we are committed to your success and we want to help you every single step of the way. We offer apartment style housing, which is really unique. Um, we have um, free parking. You can bring your car on campus as a freshman. Uh, we have a 24 hour fitness center in our dormitories, a fully furnished kitchen in each suite. And we are ranked in the top five safest college campuses in the state of Virginia. Okay, so we realize that figuring out the finance piece of um, where you're gonna go to college is a huge factor. And at Regent, we're committed to making our education affordable to you. Uh, and these are gonna be some of the scholarships. We do have a very um, active merit-based scholarship program, and we rank in the top 5% of the most affordable private Christian colleges and universities in the country. And in fact, 85% of our students, our undergraduate students receive some form of aid. And we also have a net price calculator on our website to help you determine the costs based on your individual circumstances. So I encourage you to check out that net price calculator on the website. We realize that your college experience is a 360 degree experience and Regent offers many opportunities outside of the classroom. We have over 55 student organizations, including our surf club, our moot court, our student activities board. Um, we offer regular events and activities like student paint nights and escape rooms. And our student services have adapted these activities to work within the COVID guidelines. So we have been active on campus um, within these guidelines the entire year. Uh, we offer nine collegiate sports as well as club and intramural sports. We have a state-of-the-art performing arts center where students can either watch or participate in several productions throughout the year. And if you're interested in a military career, we offer several ROTC programs and scholarships. And last but not least, our campus ministries hosts chapel, life groups, and other ways to connect each and every week. Okay, so I mentioned we are located in coastal Virginia Beach, only a short drive from the boardwalk, and Virginia boasts many state and national parks and historic sites like historic Williamsburg, and Regent students can also take advantage of nearby art museums and cultural events, plus we're only a few hours from places like Washington, D.C., the Outer Banks, um, so we're really in a very dynamic area for you to go to college. So your next step would be to apply and you can apply online or you can call and speak with one of our admissions counselors who can walk you through the process and waive that $50 application fee. We are test optional this year, but we do encourage you to take these tests if you can. And um, I appreciate your time and letting me speak with you today. All right, thank you, Cindy. I'm gonna invite all of our reps back now and we're gonna move on to the next part of our program which is to give some general college admissions advice. So what advice would you give going, someone going through the college search process? Uh, and I'll just ask that we present in the same order, we answer in the same order that we presented in. So some advice I would give would be to not settle. Look at all of your college and university options. Look at what they offer. Look at costs. Look at location. All kinds of opportunities. Just look at every aspect of each college or university that you're interested in and don't settle because this is your future. This is your career. And, and that, that's why we're all here. And we want to make sure that even if it's not with us, the status would be that you're, you are making the right decision for you. All right, something that I would recommend uh, straight up is uh, a place that feels like home to you. You want to feel like really comfortable there. So, of course, make sure they have the things that you're interested in. So uh, an environment that you can get really comfortable in uh, for your studies. But overall, just a place that feels like really familiar to you, a place that you really feel like you can uh, fit into and that you could be comfortable over for your experience. 
I would share that um, if you can visit the college campuses that most interest you, you know, maybe um, have your top one, two, three, four. Um, of course, with COVID, not right now, we realize it's a little bit harder to travel. Um, Fortunately, with Johnson & Wales, we've actually been open. Um, our students have been amazing about following the protocols. Our class sizes are small naturally, so we've been able to um, continue. And we do have in-person tours. They are, we do need to schedule because they're socially distanced. Um, but we also have great virtual programs too. And they're actually led by real live people, students and admissions officers. So um, I would encourage you, you really want to get the, it's, it's going to be your home for the next four years, your college that you pick. So you want to get the feel, the vibe, the energy, and, and make sure that you really do feel at home there. Absolutely. I would agree with everyone. I'd also say find a way to uh, stay organized, especially for those of you just starting this process as you're attending these events or visiting campus. I'm a big sheets person. Write down the things you liked, what you don't like, the cost, most importantly, the deadline. So you don't miss that big scholarship deadline. You don't miss the application deadline. Um, so whichever way works for you to stay organized, do it. But um, I think that's a really nice way to make sure you're not missing anything. And also, I think you'll start to find patterns of things you like about institutions that might help drive your decision. Yeah, um, you cannot pick where you're born or where you're from or the passport that you were born with, but you can pick uh, uh, your education, the institution you were joined and where it can help you, uh, when, where you can get afterwards. So uh, take it seriously, uh, create a do uh, want and don't want list, prioritize, and make sure that you're picking an institution that mirrors your values and that can help you grow. Um, yeah, great advice, everybody. I would say um, look into scholarships um, and financial aid um, and really um, ask a lot of questions about those because there is a lot of scholarship money that goes unused um, and uh, unexplored. So definitely look into the scholarships. And I would say when you visit, if you can speak with faculty members um, in the different programs, that's really going to give you a good idea about who you're going to be taught by and um, what kind of instruction you're going to receive. So I would try to do that. And if you can stay on campus, again, we know this is kind of tough in COVID, but the more experiences you can have on campus and talking to people um, and professors in particular would be great. Great, wonderful. Um, you know, we've just got about three minutes left here, so I want to make use of all of our time. I'm going to put our reps on the spot here and ask one more question. What is your favorite event or tradition on campus? So just share just a little bit about the experience of your schools. My favorite event on campus and tradition would be graduation. You are escorted in by bagpipes. There's a torch. I mean, it's very intense, a lot of honor. We like to celebrate our graduates. It's very special. Um, we actually have a student service day. So anytime there's a renovation that needs to be done on campus or for opening like a new building. So for example, we opened a brand new library facility in fall of 2018 that has meant a lot to the area. And typically a lot of our students will get involved in any one of these uh, day of service activities and it will be published in media. Looks great for resumes later on. So it really speaks on behalf of our student body. Um, at Johnson and Wales, I love, we have an annual um, competition called Shark Fest. And it is kind of like the, um, like what you see on TV. And students come up with business concepts and they pitch them to business leaders to get seed money. And it's really exciting. And a lot of students have been very successful with it. My favorite tradition at Minnesota is Spring Jam. Um, it's a couple of weeks before our spring finals where we bring in um, a carnival and food trucks and host a big festival on campus all week um, and bring in artists, a different artist every day. So all the way from Battle of the Bands for our student musicians up to bringing big names into our football stadium like Lizzo in the past. So um, it's a really nice way for students to get outside, enjoy the nice weather after the frost has moved out of Minnesota um, and have a little fun before you buckle down for finals. We celebrate IE Day on the 16th of March, and basically we all wear blue, and uh, we celebrate the different festivals across the world, like just the Las Dias del Muertos, the Brazilian festival, etc. And we have food from around the all over the world. It's very, very cute. 
Um, we have a kind of a unique event called Unchapel, which is a student-led worship night on Thursday nights. And um, they bring in a lot of speakers and they it's totally student-led. And then afterwards, they'll have a big bonfire and everyone will sing. And um, it's just a lot of fun for students. Oh, those all sound great. So uh, that concludes our program. Thank you so much to all of our reps for sharing all this wonderful information with our students. Students, when you close this window, there will be a very quick four question survey that will appear. And if you could share just a little bit of feedback with us, we'd greatly appreciate it. This fair continues for the next two hours. So you can head over to strivescan.com slash Virginia to sign up for additional sessions. And a recording of this session and all the other sessions are gonna be available at that same website within a week. So again, thank you to our reps. Thank you to our students and families for attending and have a great evening, everyone. Bye-bye.